the United States restriction on export of advanced artificial intelligence chips to China could create opportunities for Huawei technologies to grow in its $7 billion home market. This is because this restriction forced NVIDIA to withdraw from the Chinese market. Even though NVIDIA has historically been the main provider of AI chips in China with the market of share more than 90%. While Chinese companies including Huawei have developed their own version of AI chips that can par with NVIDIA's best selling chips, the A100 and H100 graphics processing unit, with this restriction, Huawei has the momentum to push its own product into the Chinese market. So how can Huawei take over the AI chips in the Chinese market? Before we continue, please consider subscribing to this channel like and comment to help the algorithm for this video. Huawei is better known globally for its telecom and smartphone business, but Huawei has for the past 4 years has been building AI chips line. The recent AI chip from Huawei is the Ascend 910P chip, which claims to rivals Nvidia's A100 chip. Huawei's Ascend 910P chip are said to be on par with NVIDIA in terms of raw computing power, but analysts and some AI companies such as China Afritex said but the Ascend 910P still lag behind in performance. Huawei first unveiled its Ascend 910 in 2018 and the chip was officially launched in 2019. But at the same time, the company became the target of US export controls. At the time, Huawei claimed that its chip was the world's most powerful AI processor and was manufactured on 7 nanometer process. Huawei said the chip could deliver 256 teraflops for half precision floating point operation and 512 tera OPS for integral precision calculation. The company also touted the chip's efficiency, saying that its maximum power consumption was just 310 watt. However, the Ascend 910 failed to dent NVIDIA's dominance both inside and outside China. NVIDIA introduced its A100 and H100 chips in 2020 and in 2022 respectively, which swept up the majority of the AI chip market share globally. Another key limiting factor for Chinese companies is the reliance of most project on NVIDIA's chip and software ecosystem, but that could change with US restriction. That gives Huawei the opportunity to provide the chip in the Chinese market, but it comes with some challenges. Many advancement AI projects are built on CUDA, a popular programming architecture created by NVIDIA that is capable of training highly advanced AI models such as OpenAI's GPT-4. While Huawei version is called CINN, analysts say that it is much more limited in terms of the AI models that it is capable of training, meaning that Huawei's chip are far from a worthy replacement for NVIDIA's. To win Chinese clients from NVIDIA, Huawei would have to duplicate the ecosystem NVIDIA created. This includes support clients to move their data and models to Huawei on platforms. According to Reuters, the intellectual property rights are also an issue, as many US companies already hold K patents for GPU, and to get something comparable, it will take 5 or 10 years. And here we are now. Huawei's partner in China so far include iFlatex, a leading AI software company in China that uses the Accent 910 to train their AI models. iFlatex was also blacklisted by the United States in 2019. On Thursday, October 19, during Eiffletex earnings call, Senior Vice President Jiang Tao said that the Accent 910B's capabilities were on par with NVIDIA's A100 and announced it was developing general AI infrastructure in China together with Huawei. Huawei said it is AI chips now help power more than 30 large language models in China which is experiencing a generative AI craze and currently has more than 130 large language models. And now, according to Reuters, it has been reported that pay to order 1600 Huawei 910p chips for 200 software in August. Thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment. I really appreciate it and hope to see you in another video.